Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through myositis. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash myositis or in the rheumatology section of the second edition of the Zero to Finals Medicine book. And you can find flashcards and questions to train your knowledge and help you remember the information longer at members.zerotofinals.com. So let's jump straight in. Polymyositis and dermatomyositis are autoimmune conditions that cause muscle inflammation, which is called myositis. Both conditions present with proximal muscle weakness at the tops of the arms and the tops of the legs. Dermatomyositis also involves characteristic skin changes, specifically gotron papules affecting the backs of the hands and the heliotrope rash affecting the eyelids. Polymyositis and dermatomyositis can be caused by an underlying cancer, which makes them paraneoplastic syndromes. A viral infection may be the trigger, for example, Coxsackie virus or HIV. Certain HLA genes are risk factors for the conditions. Let's talk about the presentation. The typical presenting symptom is a gradual onset, symmetrical, proximal muscle weakness, which causes difficulties in standing from a chair, climbing stairs, or lifting items overhead. There may be muscle pain or myalgia, but this is not always the case. Polymyositis occurs without any skin changes. Potential skin changes in dermatomyositis include gotron lesions, which are scaly erythematous patches over the knuckles, elbows and knees. The heliotrope rash, which is a purple rash on the face and eyelids. Periorbital edema, which is swelling around the eyes and a photosensitive erythematous rash or red rash over the back, shoulders and neck. Next let's talk about creatine kinase. The critical test for myositis or muscle inflammation is a creatine kinase blood test. Creatine kinase is an enzyme found inside muscle cells. Inflammation inside muscle cells, or myositis, causes the release of creatine kinase. Creatine kinase is usually less than about 300 international units per litre. With myositis, the result can be in the multiples of thousands. Other causes of a raised creatine kinase include rhabdomyolysis, acute kidney injury, myocardial infarction or a heart attack, statin use and strenuous exercise. Next let's talk about making the diagnosis. A diagnosis will be made by a rheumatology specialist and this is based on the clinical features, elevated creatine kinase blood test, autoantibodies, electromyography or EMG, magnetic resonance imaging or MRI scans, and a muscle biopsy. There are many myositis specific antibodies with varying associations. The most common one to remember is anti-JO1 antibodies associated with polymyositis. Finally, let's talk about management. A rheumatologist will guide management. New cases need to be assessed for possible underlying cancer. Patients may benefit from physiotherapy and occupational therapy to help with muscle strength and function. 
Corticosteroids, for example, prednisolone, are the first-line treatment for both polymyositis and dermatomyositis. Other medical options where the response to steroids is inadequate include immunosuppressants, for example, methotrexate or azathioprine, IV immunoglobulins, and biologic therapy, for example, infliximab or etanercept. Research has consistently shown that testing yourself after learning a topic has a powerful effect on how long you retain that information. This is known as the testing effect. Studying and then testing yourself results in longer lasting and stronger recall on that information when tested at a later date, even when compared with additional study sessions. If you're preparing for a medical exam and you're not regularly testing your knowledge and practicing your recall, you're failing to maximize your potential. The Zero to Finals member site contains flashcards, short answer questions, multiple choice questions, and extended matching questions that are purpose built to supplement the Zero to Finals content, helping you build your internal database of knowledge and take advantage of the powerful testing effect. If you like the Zero to Finals notes, books, videos, and podcasts, then you'll love the member's site.